Hey guys, remember this guy, Weather Channel? Here he is fighting, fighting the incredibly strong winds, and he's, well, he's really working it. The actors. Oh, let's just watch it again. Here in Wilmington, North Carolina, right at the Intracoast store, and we're in oh one of God. these bands. Oh, this is about wait. as these guys nasty are just as walking a band. Like we had bands like this last night. And then the audio are you pretending, Mr. Weatherman from the Weather Channel? Are you pretending? Are you acting? You're not really a reporter. You're an actor. Yeah, I remember this. Sickening watching these people. Sickening. Oh, they don't experience any consequences for their deception. Propaganda has been made legal. They can lie to the American people. They can act. They can pretend that it's really, really windy. And then people walk by. Fine. Yeah, well, I want to thank my subscriber for sending me along this video that was captured. Yeah, another Weather Channel guy. Hey, I'm wearing sneakers, aren't I cool? Okay. Ready? Aim. Fire show things other than storms like here in this example and this is actually something you'll see pretty often in the early mornings during spring summer and fall you ever check uh, the app to check the radar and there's all this weird you know blue stuff all over the radar that's all rain down toward the south but what is this this is ground clutter let me explain what that means it's basically you're seeing bugs maybe a few birds and some bats also but there's a reason why wait wait, wait. he said birds and and bugs that's the blue that we're seeing? Did he really say that? Yeah, he did. He did. But what is this? This is ground clutter. Let me explain what that means. It's basically you're seeing bugs, maybe a few birds, and some bats also. But there's a reason why this happens, generally in the warmer months and generally very early in the morning before the sun comes up. Okay, so when skies are clear, the temperatures at the surface will get pretty cool. When you have a cool layer of air down at the surface and warm air just above that, we call that an inversion, and it tends to affect how the radar beam moves. Now normally a radar beam shoots at a little bit of an upward angle. So the farther away you get from the radar site, you're seeing data from higher and higher up in the air. In this case, with the inversion in place, very early on in the mornings, you tend to see that radar beam kind of shoot back a little bit toward the earth. It can affect the way that the beam refracts. And that's where all the birds and the bugs and all that stuff are. They don't go above that layer. So that's why you see that, because once the sun comes up, then all of a sudden, you know, the radar beam goes back to where it belongs. Voila! And we don't see any of the blue, right? Right? Hey, right, guy? Mr. Actor? Right? It is 11.30 p.m. on the East Coast, which means it's like 10 here and 11, um, 9 in Texas and well why are birds out and bugs causing so much scatter and well I guess North Dakota you don't have birds and bugs Montana Idaho Washington Oregon Nevada Utah, Colorado. I guess you guys don't have much bugs and birds that fly around at night. At night. I guess we have a lot here upstate <clears throat> South Carolina and around Columbia, <clears throat> but very little down here. What are you going to tell me? There's no radar station here? Ah, but there is. Oh, but there is. So, yeah, bugs and birds. 
And that's why you see it in the early morning. And when the sun comes up, well, then it just goes back to normal. Really? Then why do I see radar blasting away during the day in just certain areas of the country? Oh, another lying sack of shit. This guy. But you look really cute in your sneakers. So the best that we can say is that this guy is a moron. The worst is a lying sack of shit. That's what we get here in America. Lies. We trudge through lies every single day. Hey, you guys, do you, like, have coffee together? You know? I bet you do. Do you discuss the lies and the acting and the pretense and the bullshit you're going to be <gasps> reporting on for the day for the American people who listen to you? And it's quite amazing that the American people actually listen to these people and believe them. Believe them. They believe them. You know, that inversion of the radar. That's why you see it early in the morning. So, I guess they're starting their inversion early. Or, well, very early. Like at night. I'm so sick of trudging through lies. I am so sick of it. Something is so wrong. Yeah, I'm going to say it with the American people. They love their lies. Why? Because lies, well, demand nothing of them. The truth is extremely demanding. Yeah, I'm going to go with the lie. Because I don't want to do anything. The truth, well, if I look at the truth, and I believe the truth is that they have um, increased the power, the power of our frequencies blasting away. Yes, used for weather modification, but also used for breaking down the American people. Funny how the birds and the bugs are really around this storm very intensely. Maybe they want a shower. All right, so this storm here uh, that they were claiming was going to flood New Orleans, Texas, um, seems to be weakening, but that doesn't mean anything. It certainly does look like, instead of from the Gulf, it's being generated here. Yep, West Texas, New Mexico. Maybe they'll bring that on. Houston, the flash flooding, well, maybe they will. Just move this over a little. Um, but where is this mega storm that they are forecasting? Oh, this is the, the thunderstorm train. The train of thunderstorms. Look how nicely and neatly lined up all of these thunderstorms are. So we've got a, uh, once again, this, uh, these lasers operating in Nevada. Again, this has been going on for three consecutive, consecutive nights. And I was asked by a subscriber what was going on in Nevada earlier, which it's no longer. They've uh, changed the frequencies, but let me get that video I captured. 
So this I captured at um, 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. on the East Coast. So what time was it in Nevada? Was it nine, um, 5 or 6? I'm not sure. But I'm not entirely sure what that was, except um, that it may have been hit with, you know, a frequency. Look, we're seeing we're seeing areas now where precipitation comes about suddenly and disappears suddenly. But there was also, which I didn't actually see before, but it looks like an extremely low frequency being shot from a don't go away. Did I go back to it? Let me see. From Idaho. Yeah. I'm seeing our precipitation, like I've never seen it before, um, boy, do we have an awful lot of storms all over the place. All of these red blobs, well, that indicates a, a really bad storm. Well, we have really bad storms like every day, every night, and they do seem to just mm, appear. Okay, so we still have that extremely low frequency uh, emitted from Illinois and going through the Mississippi River into Iowa. And am I going to show it? Come on. Oh. Here. That was a nice blast. Um, <clears throat> someone asked if I could enlarge my cursor. I don't know how to do it. I tried to figure out how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, <sighs> this is real time. We've got the extremely low. I live right here. I'm so done with all of these frequencies you know I walk every single day I have virtually every day for about two years I started you know lifting weights and walking at the same time a few months ago and I feel like I've never exercised a day in my life the chronic physical pain the stiffness um, it's I feel that the, sometimes I feel like today like my muscles were cement, um, my balance is off. I am so done with this world that we are living in. And I know that a lot of you are too. So, yeah, bugs and birds. Don't worry, don't worry. Listen to these morons who tell you the lies. The lies. I love the lies. So... Um, College of DuPage. Look at all of the chemtrails coming into Northern California, Southern Oregon. Not Mother Nature. Because Mother Nature, well, she's always worked in a circular pattern, not in defined lines. So all of the lines that you see bringing in an awful lot of toxic chemicals, heavy metals, for all of you to breathe. Well, that's been going on all over. But look at, you know, what appears to be just blips, little blips of uh, what is precipitation. Our atmosphere now is so saturated with chemicals, heavy metals, that, and I have posted the evidence, 
of all of the experiments the Soviets were doing with uh, aluminum and barium, lithium, to create clouds. So when we see this eruption of cloud, then precipitation, all of the chemicals are just right smack in the atmosphere. You hit it with a laser. Uh, there's many different ways to manufacture clouds, many different ways to cause the precipitation. But I've never seen radar take on a look like we have been seeing for the past couple of months. All these dots of precipitation that the little dots, I'm sure, are not. Um, but all of the frequencies at use, what's going on in Minnesota? You guys in Minnesota, are you getting slammed? Uh, Wisconsin, yeah, and they do need to bring over you know, that rain. They've got to really get those uh, Great Lakes high so they cause flooding. And if you go to the sub-regional section and just, you know, check on, you know, click on a region and you will see all of man's hands, you know, circular, defined, defined circular pattern of the precipitation. High frequency heating from our Doppler radar station. They emit it into the ionosphere. They can actually steer, aim the extremely low frequencies that bounce back uh, with high frequencies um, that they modulate with the extremely low frequencies. They can bring about cyclones, earthquakes, and all of that is on my playlist. One is named weather modification. The other one is named geoengineering. Then I have a climate change fraud playlist. Hey, check that out. Uh, all of those scientists, you know, those crazy nut job scientists that have been saying the IPCC, uh, their assessments, as well as that national assessment, you know, coming out of the executive office, Trump, he retaining Obama scientists to put out the national assessment that, oh, well, it was in line with the IPCC's assessment of, oh, we only have 12 years, so we've got to rob the American people and make all of the Green New Deal changes so that, well, the Earth won't just explode in 12 years. People really do. Boy, they never want to change. They just want to stay the same. I prefer to be served a daily mail meal of lies. Thank you very much. And because I like lies, I don't have to trudge through the day. I just live my life comfortably. You trudge through the day because you don't like lies. Oh, okay. You can see all of the circular patterns. You can also slow this down. I link below to everything. I link below to these sites. Oh, look at all of the nice uh, harp next ride rings, the Doppler radar um, being used in these storms. Look at all of the extremely low frequencies. And yes, I do believe that these extremely low frequencies, why do you see all of the blue? Because they've changed the power coming out of our Doppler radar stations. And that's why that cute little guy in his sneakers lying to you was explaining why we see all of this blue. We only see it though early morning, I guess when the birds wake up. Yeah. Gotta love it, huh? So, mimic. Nice pulse. Boom. You see it? Okay. I don't know how on the first Mimic map 
how to slow it down. I don't see any controls. Um, let me bring it back. Um, I I don't know how to slow it down. I wish I did. But that huge kick right there in the Gulf has a nicely defined circular pattern. Can't you see it? Let me zoom in. I'll bring it to 400 and oh, wrong way. You'll see it right here. Boom. Okay. Yes, our Doppler radar, think of it as mini harp stations. The power of the frequencies from Doppler radar, enor enormous. So they are still pulsing the Gulf. Oh, and the forecast is a major storm in the Gulf. Huh. But it does have a very clear next red harp ring signature. And yes, we still have. I've slowed this down. And this looks awfully strange, this split of atmospheric waters. Right here. We're seeing a lot of very strange things, but I want to focus in on what is happening right here in the Gulf. And what we are seeing, well, we're still seeing that very strange split in the precipitable waters, but we're also seeing scalar squares. Scalar technology could have been used for good, but instead they're using it to destroy. That's what evil does. It destroys. So, one more time. Look at these squares. Look at this huge frequency going through Central America, but the squares right here, if you can't see my cursor, um, just look off the coast of Mexico and south of Brownsville, and you will see the squares in our precipitable water right there. And that, too, is a signature that portends danger, destruction. So are they going to be beefing this up for massive flooding? They may very well be doing just that. Yes, here's our train, our thunder train. Well, we're living something I never thought that we would live. You know, all I, you know, lying has always been a real. Look, I lived a lie. I'm not talking about the pretense. I'm talking about the outright lying, man. And uh, yeah, if we righted that, if people just stopped lying, wow we would see enormous change rapidly. But, no, people don't like to change. All links are